The American Midwest. Often overlooked, this region has extensive farmland, charming cities, and the friendliest people, who refuse to say the word soda. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege of living in the Midwest. Now, recently, I've been traveling to a bunch of places within the region that I'd either only heard of but never been, or that I'd never even heard of at all. Wherever I found myself, I did the thing I always do, explore. Join me. This is Tom in the Midwest. Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom and I'm having a good day because I get to spend the day exploring a place that I've passed through many times on the train but never actually been to. This is St. Joseph, Michigan, also known as St. Joe. I'm standing on top of a bluff and down below there is the St. Joe Amtrak station and behind that is Lake Michigan. Lindsay, my wife, is getting on the train from Chicago to Grand Rapids. Uh, in a few hours and then that train will come through here which is where I'll get on to join her all the way up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. But before that we have several hours so in this video I want to do a few things. Uh, I want to explore the city, we're gonna ride the Pier Marquette which is one of my favorite trains and inside the station building here there's a very famous pizza place. I've always wanted to try it always just passing through. So today, while I wait for Lindsay in the Pier Marquette, we're gonna grab ourselves a slice of pizza. We're also gonna see some trains, but I didn't know that yet. St. Joe is a small town on the shore of Lake Michigan. It has a population of only around 8,000, but during the summer months, it attracts a lot more people who come to vacation here. If you're sick of the beach, there are a few other attractions, as well as the typical shopping scene for a small American vacation town. Are you looking for a tie-dye shirt with a map of the Great Lakes on it? It won't be hard to find here. I decided to head into a bookstore where I met this cutie, and then I went to the local cafe and chocolate shop. I got a hot chocolate and a cheesecake. What? There are many more hours before it's pizza time. Cheesecake is cheesecake, but with that said, it wasn't the best I'd had in my entire life. Mom, if you're watching this, yours of course is the best. The hot chocolate, however, was amazing. Next, I went down to the St. Joseph River. The riverside has some public art on display, and it offers a great vantage point to see the two cool bridges crossing the river. The bridge carrying a highway is normally left in the close position to let cars pass over. However, in the summer months, the bridge will open from 3 minutes before to 3 minutes after each half hour. This is to let sailboats, yachts, and other vessels that, frankly, I could never afford pass through. Now on the other side of the river from St. Joe is the city of Benton Harbor, and the two are connected by a roadway bridge as well as the railroad bridge that the Pier Marquette runs over. The railroad bridge, however, usually remains in the open position. There are simply more boats on the water than trains crossing over. It's owned by CSX, and aside from several freight trains, it's used by one round trip a day of the Amtrak Pier Marquette. The Pier Marquette travels south to Chicago in the mornings and north to Grand Rapids, Michigan in the evenings. Guys, the siren just rang. I think the bridge is gonna swivel to let a train cross. Now, to be completely honest, I didn't dare hope that I would actually get to see any action today. But after waiting only for a half hour or so, I got lucky. While the siren goes off quite unexpectedly, everything else takes a little longer, and furthermore, trains blow their horns on either end of the bridge, so you'll have plenty of time to get your camera ready. Short boats can still pass underneath, no problem. Of course, if I was on this boat, I'd stop to watch the train.
That was so lucky. That only happens a few times a day. And I just randomly came here to check out the bridge and within half an hour of being here, a train passed over. So now we've seen a little bit of the city. We've seen a train. Let's head to the beach. I found this hidden little path on my way back and decided to take it. I'm glad I did because I found out the trees here in September are a safe haven to thousands of monarch butterflies. I just sat for a while and admired these beautiful creatures. Now I'm back at the bluff where we started the video overlooking the lakeshore. Really, I just climbed up that steep path to go right back down again. I want to explore this area next, once this other freight train has passed, of course. Immediately down the stairs lies the Amtrak station. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Amtrak shares this place with a pizza joint, Silver Beach Pizza. Nearby the station is an old carousel, another popular attraction, especially for those with children. So as you can see, the train station is located beneath the bluff, and it's just a short, easy walk to the lake. The sidewalk from the station to the beach is wide and flat, which makes it accessible. It's also attractive, and I think this whole area was just very well designed. I'm standing at the end of the pier, and I have this whole place to myself right now. This is Lake Michigan. If you would go in a straight line, you'd eventually hit Chicago, the city where I live. Um, the lake is so wide that the curvature of the earth makes it impossible to see Chicago under normal circumstances, although there are very rare occasions where you can see the skyline pop up. Wouldn't that be something to see? This illusion happens when the cold air temperatures over the lake bend the light so that it becomes visible from St. Joe. It is best observed in the spring and fall. And just to give you a sense of how big this lake is, that's the narrow part. It literally stretches on for hundreds of miles going north. A little bit farther south, there's another beach I wanna take you to. And after that, I think it's almost pizza time. This is the Lions Park Beach. Lions Park Beach is smaller and not designed for swimming per se, but it's also much quieter. So yeah, I don't think this beach is as pretty but it's a lot quieter. Sign said to thank a lion if I enjoyed the park. So when I got back to Chicago, I knew what I had to do. Thank you. 
I figured the sunset at Silver Beach would probably be prettier, so I walked back up there. Meanwhile, Lindsay was at Chicago Union Station, about to board the Pier Marquette. In fact, this was only the second day ever that these new Siemens Venture cars were on the Pierre Marquette route. Looking forward to being reunited with Lindsay after a long day, I sat down in the sand and enjoyed the sunset. It was a warm day for September, and even as night fell, it was very comfortable outside. As the Pierre Marquette with Lindsay on board made its way around Lake Michigan, I sat down and just thought of the past four years of my life, where I called the state Michigan my home, where I met a lot of people. While I'm glad to finally live in the context of a big city again where I feel most comfortable, I'm also very grateful for the time that I had here in Michigan and it will always hold a special place in my heart. On the subject of things that have a special place in my heart, it's finally the moment we've all been waiting for we're about to get Silver Beach Pizza. Hi, may I have a small conductor's choice, please? And uh, two sprites, please. I ordered from the takeout window, but Silver Beach Pizza has a dine-in section as well. While we're waiting for the food, why not quickly check out the train station? I have a soft spot for Amtrak stations that still have the old logo. Looking inside the waiting room, it's very modest, but it has like a quick track ticket machine. Although this one was out of order. There's an ATM as well as some hard seats with power sockets, which was useful to me after a full day of filming. I really like these old Amtrak posters, though the landscape looks nothing like Michigan. It's a cool reminder of all the amazing places you can take Amtrak to. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. The pizza has arrived and it smells good. I actually have a friend who's from St. Joe and he said it's the best pizza he's ever had. We'll see. I'm gonna wait until I'm reunited with Lindsay to try it, but I'm very excited. All right, so I heard the alarm for the bridge go off and now the signal's changed. So I think the train should be here any minute. A fun fact about these venture cars is I seem to be the only human that likes them. Have a good one. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. She just, she just took us. Go ahead. All the stairs to the left. Thank you. Step off. Step off. Step off. Somebody order pizza. Now let's eat it. Time to try the pizza. It's a little cold. Doctor's choice was the right choice. The conductor, when scanning my tickets, said that that was also his favorite pizza. Backing into Grand Rapids right now. The local time in Grand Rapids is 11:29.
So that was St. Joseph, Michigan. A really cute place. Highly recommend visiting for a day. And then eating great pizza and riding Amtrak's newest trains. It's just the icing on the cheesecake. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you felt inspired to check out this cute little place in Michigan. Please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome for more content like this, and we'll see you next time for another installment of Tom in the Midwest.